Hello and good morning. So for today's live activity, I'm going to show you how to use the Android sharing intent. So Android sharing intent is useful for you to integrate the share functionality inside your Android application. This will allow you to share information inside your application to the outside world. So this is how this sharing intent would work. So let's say that you build an application that can uh, add two numbers, like three and then four. And then when you press add, okay, this will total up to seven. And then let's say that if you want to share this information to your friend, so it will appear like this, tiga campur empat equal to tujuh. Okay, three plus four equals to seven. And then you want to share this to your friend through the WhatsApp. Okay, you can use WhatsApp okay, like this, right? Right, and then you can use it. Okay, it will appear. So you can also use uh, this to share to uh, message, right? To select a message to your friend using uh, SMS. Then you can type it, uh, your friend phone number. And then you send it. Right, like this. Okay. So, uh, this is the summary of what we are going to learn for today. So, we are going to use the Android intent to share information from your mobile application. So, to start this uh, lab activity, you should create a new activity and then select empty activity. And then type in your application name. Okay, sharing intent, okay, like this. And you just click finish. Okay, let's create a simple uh, activity. Let's look uh, at what activity that uh, you want to create. So we choose to implement a simple activity. So this is main activity. You look into the layout. Then we can uh, pre-create a simple activity. Okay, just a dummy simple activity to demonstrate the sharing intent. Right. Here next, uh, we try to replicate back this application. Okay, we have two text, uh, two edit text, one text view to display the result, and then one button. So let's implement this. Go to this text, edit text. We find number decimal. We put over here. Right, we can uh, put in the constraint. Then another. Edit text. It should be simple enough if you have already mastered the Android uh, application, right? Then you use button, right here, okay, to the bottom. In, right. And then it's time to rename the button. Okay, this is button, it's okay. Rename the button. Text, we put at. And uh, we should uh, match parent. Okay, to give it a white burst. Okay. Also, this one match parent. Okay, and then rename. Okay, for easier. Okay, rename number one. Okay, this edit text. And then another edit text. Edit PT. Number two. Okay, represent number two. This one button, you can leave it. So, what else? So, Next, uh, you may need another text view. So why we need this text view? Because we want to display the result. 
Okay, this that view is useful for displaying result. Okay. okay next, uh, okay, you can leave it here. Not important. What important is that if you can wrap the content in your quiz, wrap content. Yeah, right. So we wrap content. So this will become the result. And then you just click the constraint layout, give it some uh, padding space. Okay, click here at the constraint layout to give the padding space so that it will look nice on your mobile device. The padding left, 16, density independence pixel, the IP. And padding right, 16, the IP also. Right. So it will become nice like this. Then you can uh, set the label uh, using shin. You click over here. F G H shin over here. So number one. You could, we can hit another shin number two. So you can have uh, two text uh, edit text with number one and number two that contain decimal. All right. Okay. Can contain decimal. Here, number decimal, input that number decimal. Okay, you have already finished the basic of the application. Okay, let's see this in uh, pixel, pixel 3. Alright, okay, it should, uh, it's supposed to show up like this. Let me enlarge. It's supposed to show up like this. Okay, now the add button is still non-functioning. But to ensure that the add button is functioning, you have to go to the main activity and then we have to declare some variable. So we because we use edit text, we have to declare a variable. So et number one and then et number two. And then then because we have button, okay, we have button. Okay, and then we also have text view. Okay, TXT result. Oh yeah, make sure that you rename the text view accordingly uh, because it makes it clear for you to um, match uh, with its functionality. So just rename this text, text view to uh, TV result. Make it easier for you to debug your application at later time. TV result. Okay, and then here it is number one equals to okay, the type of the this variable is edit text. And we by id r dot id dot g number one. It number one. Okay, next, it is number two. We get it number two. Right, it number two. Then button equals to button. Find V by ID R dot ID dot button. This song. This has been already up. Possible for cut and paste. So this one will become button. Okay, and then you become TV result equals to text view. Find me by our ID dot TV result. Okay, what we have here is reference to text one. Yeah, edit text one, edit text two, and uh, then add, add button. And then the result. Right? Okay, both uh, I'm using the reference. This is text is five, this is pixel. Okay, next, what we are going to do is we try to add two number and then display it on the result using the button. So in order to use the button, we have to implement on click listener. Okay, and then alternate enter. Okay, this to implement the method. Remember, if we are using uh, implementation, you have to implement the method. Okay, on 
click view right like this one okay next what you need to do is to uh, select the button view.getid okay this is a good practice is r.id dot button okay because we want to link this to this and then you break and then it needs the default okay, default you can leave the default uh, as okay you see that to pick this label uh, this is normal okay and then you need to link the button to this uh, listener so button dot that on click listener this all right so when you click the button okay, when you click the button it will send the signal to this and then it will send the signal to here the next what we should do is to retrieve the number from the edit text okay to get x dot to string and then of course you need to pass the double okay pass the double value because it is string you need to convert it to double right double number one okay or you can put in num one right num one okay and then double num two and then the same except that you uh, change it to it number two and then you have a result Okay, double result equal num1 plus num2 and then you need to output the result so to output the result you need to use tv result but set text so you use here okay tv result okay this should work okay this should work right this should work Roughly. Okay, try to put here. 1 plus 2. Okay, 3. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 4, become 5. 4 plus 5, you become 9. Okay, but this still have uh, its own uh, limitation. So let's say that if you empty, okay, you leave the edit text empty. When you click add, it will crash. So it will crash. So why it crash? Because you do not do not do the check. Okay, check up over here. So when you click over here, it become a number format exception. Okay. Okay, you have to be number format exception or num. Uh, okay, number format exception empty string. So what you need to do is try to handle the exception. Using try and catch. Try and handle this using try and catch. Okay, and then you catch the exception. If you want to be uh, specific, you can type your number for my exception. Then you can create a tools over here. PEX dot to spring, what type of exception. Then don't forget to put the shoe. Okay, then you can put in the exception and this enter number in the text field. Okay, this will become the error handler. Okay, please enter number in the text field. So this is, should be easy, right? Okay, should be easy now. Okay, please enter number in the text field error uh, will be displayed on the application okay the error file uh, the error notification will be displayed on the application okay next we will try to create a menu so to create menu you go to rest over here right click okay Check uh, Android uh, resource directory, new resource directory. Just select menu, right? And then click OK. And then from here, you click uh, right click 
mean from the menu here you right click select menu you select menu resource file and then you just type here menu okay. click ok and then you will be displayed with uh, the menu editor I'm going to show you clearly over here. So menu editor is easy to use. Okay, you can uh, write in the menu item over here. So there is an ID. You type here, uh, here kat sini. Uh, item, menu item or sharing. So easy. So you can put here item share, ID. And then you put here share. And then show as action, you click at the flag, okay, put here always. So you, uh, have uh, this button share. And then you can also change the icon to be the standard icon for sharing. I see menu share, you put here, and then it appears as this symbol, right? So you have already completed your menu. So in order to display the menu, you have to go over here and then you try to look at the Android documentation on uh, file sharing, menu file sharing. If you refer here, there is a step to inflate the menu. So you have to copy this, right? You use here public boolean on create options menu so in order to inflate the menu. So we can inflate the menu by typing public on create options menu. Okay, and then it will automatically create the method like this. And then you create the menu inflator. Okay, inflator. And then this dot inflate. Okay, get menu inflator. And then you inflator, you use the inflator, inflate r dot id uh, r dot menu dot menu comma menu. Okay, just like this. Okay, this is to uh, display the menu uh, over here, right? And then in order to test it, just press uh, play, run, okay, and then you notice that the menu is over here. But the menu still doesn't work. So to work out the menu, you need to create another method. So the method is listed under here. Public boolean on option item selected. You can type here boolean on options item selected so menu item item don't forget to put this super dot on option item selected and then you return the super this all here Right, uh, let's look at the table. Right, you need to put your item over here, which I forgot. And put your switch. Item dot, get item ID. Then you can get the demo. Right. Then there's no default. Item share because uh, you are clicking item share. So you put here break. So you want to share the intent. So when you want to share the intent, you have to look at the intent documentation. So this is the intent uh, documentation. Okay, sharing simple data to other app. We have to create uh, an intent and then you put your action send and then you put uh, back the extra tag. So you can copy this and then put inside here, inside the menu. So you can import all the class. And then you just have to save, right? You just have to save. 
then you play back click here okay already your application can uh, share right the thing is that when you try to create a new message okay it will appear this is my text to send okay so you have to set uh, this to your own text so in order to set this to your own text you can put here as a uh, uh, text send right and then you declare it as probably declare it as string a text send so how uh, are you going to go about this so you can uh, declare a variable over here is string okay number one okay. okay edit text number one dot get text to string okay and then string number two key number two dot get text to string and then you can also put here string result tv result dot get text to string so and then you can put here number one plus okay campo okay so you can put here plus number two Sorry, it equals result, and then you put a text send, and then you try to replay back. Okay, replay back the application. Okay, you can put a five plus p equals to eight, and then you can share them. Right. And share them uh, using the message. Some things uh, went wrong. Okay, this is the text. Five plus three equals eight. And you can okay share them using the new message. Okay, it can become like this. Five plus three equals to eight. So it's simple and easy to create a sharing. So, uh, however, there is still um a drawback for this application. So if you look carefully, okay, when both number are empty, when you press add, it still asks you to put the number in the text field. But when you press share, okay, it becomes like something like this. It becomes something like this. Okay, blank plus blank equals it. Okay, this is something that you do not want uh, to happen. Or sometimes worse, it will become uh, like this. Blank plus blank. Okay. Blank plus blank equals text view. So you do not want this to happen. So when you do not want this to happen, you have to create um, an if over here to check for the length of the number. So you can use the if, right? So if number one dot length less than one, it means that zero. A good habit if you don't check for the zero, we instead you check for the less than, okay, because some uh, some of the number can become uh, negative. Number two, right, dot length, okay, less than one. Because this is string, if the string is empty, it will be less than one, right? So if uh, either one is less than one, then you should display a toast. Text this. Okay. Okay, please fill in the text field. Right, please fill in the text field and press add. And then toast dot short. And then you put here show. Then uh, another thing is that uh, you should also put an or okay or result. Okay, this is optional. Okay, you do not have to put this right. Okay, it can become your homework. 
And then you put a return true. Okay, return. This one you put here. Break. You put a return true. Okay, and then you replay back. Right, and then when you click share, it become like this. So it become an error. So uh, that's all for our lab session for today. So what we have done now is to create a sharing intent. And I also demonstrate how to create a menu. And then how to integrate the sharing intent to your uh, application. Additionally, you can also add uh, another text, a line of text to promote your application inside your sharing intent. Okay, uh, something that I've done in the demo. And also put here uh, some advertisement like this. Okay, please download this app at okay, tiny PC okay, testing, right? Like this. So you can put here, right? And then you can uh, concatenate this with uh, the result, okay, the text result. So you can concatenate this. Okay, you can combine this. You put your slash n. Add. So when you play this, a semicolon. Okay, put here. And then 1, uh, 2, 23. And then 17. Press add, become 40. And then press share. 23 plus 17 equals to 40. So you become, please download this app. Add. I need CC. So this is just to demonstrate the application. So it becomes something like this. Okay. Right. So I think that's the end of our lab session. Be seeing you back at the next lab segment.